All right, hey guys, this is Junior Creator, and in this video, let's take a look at the tech stocks with S&P 500 and NASDAQ. I already did a video on Tesla, and another video will be coming out on the semiconductors later today, but this video will be focusing on Microsoft, Apple, Meta, Netflix, Google, Amazon, and Spy and KikiQ. Also, please check out my dividend investing channel, Junior Trader Dividend Investing Channel. If you want to follow along as for what the moves I have been making in my portfolios, I sold some Tesla and Nvidia ZTF, very little, little, and reasoning I have providing here. All the numbers, everything I have shared here on this public facing portfolio, links to this channel is in the description below of this video as well, Junior Trader Dividend Investing Channel. All right, let's start off with Microsoft here. Now, Microsoft structure is still bullish and I'll be using my tool as well that I have been mentioning about that talks, the, the color coded structure and all of, you know, for trading as well, it helps in identifying the cloud and everything. The cloud, I have actually turned it off on the daily interval, but on lower time, um, again, you can check the settings anyway. So structure still remains bullish on Microsoft. You can see right up from here, even right now, we are just bullish. That one red off was just a pullback. Structure is hasn't changed anything. You can see how well it detected a structure change over here. Uh, the red stuff came and then we just sold off orange, red, orange, red, right? And once things start to turn back again bullish, this was the structural area that I was also calling out. Um, you know, we took out the previous pivots and all of that, right? So anyways, if you need access to my tools, links are in the description below of this video. So Microsoft remains bullish. Uh, this was the level I talked about. Uh, pretty much, if we stay above 20 days, moving average continuing higher, the next level is target off is 430. Right now, nothing looks like that can stop Microsoft. Well, anything is possible in the market. We can go down as well, but there's more likelihood that we may continue higher. Definitely keep an eye on this level. We have two strong pivots sitting here and a, you know one rejecting pivot as well. Oh, I mean, so rejecting pivot here and with $431, just keep an eye on this level. At least this is the next move. And then after that, we'll see what happens if it slows down or just breaks out and above it. So on hourly interval, we continue to stay still bullish on Microsoft. Um, yeah, we today found a support at significant level of 420 continuing higher. If we stay above 20 hours moving average tomorrow as well, it's just bullish. Any pullback to 20 hours moving average, just a pullback, nothing more than that. We are still just purely bullish on Microsoft. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll have to lose 420 if we want to see, or even at the level of 422 before we can start talking about, again, some cool off or weakness or downside. Otherwise, no, this thing is looking good for the upside. Apple continues to remain strong. Nothing really has changed on it. And we are uh, just simply bullish on this thing. Now, um, as for uh, the the structure, yeah, I mean, it's bullish. Any pullback, even if it comes until 20 and 50 days moving average, that's just going to be a pullback. Uh, this thing continues to remain strong. And also on the hourly interval, we are just strong on this. Levels to watch for intraday. If we stay above the level of 225 tomorrow, it's just an upside play. Below that, sure, some cool off may start to come to 223, but 225 is the line for tomorrow that you are keeping an eye on. Meta. Let's go to the daily interval. And so Meta still trying to have a red candle today. Let's see. Is the structure changed? Let's put on my tool. No, structure is not changed. We still have a dark green, just a pullback. So that red stuff is just a pullback. Its structure is not changed on this as for the stronger sell-off or whatnot. So, so yeah. And it's coming in at this all-time highs areas. There's a little bit of a sell-off, but the way it's looking like, it's not a deeper sell-off, guys. It's to me, it's just looking like a pullback and it's just going through a pullback phase. I don't think it's bearish, even if we come down to 515. I mean, we are still so above 20 and 50 days moving average that until then it's just going to be a pullback. Intraday, some weakness is coming. I can see that here on the hourly interval. And you can see today also we rejected at one of our significant levels here, that is 531. So tomorrow, if we continue to stay below 527, you can expect downside to 523. That's a possibility. And if we lose that, that may give it some stronger downside, at least to 20 and 50 days moving average, maybe to $515 level. That's a possibility then on Meta. All right. So Netflix. Netflix 
no problem, right? We have been already talking about that how it's bullish and since this very level of blue box, right? Six, 628, yeah. And then we got out above another blue box as well. It's just been continuing higher. Structure is still bullish, all right? Still bullish. It's not bearish. Closed very close to the all-time highs. And this is the zone. As if we continue to stay above 698 tomorrow, it's just an upside play. However, if we sell off, and even if we come down close to this blue box somewhere, let's say not tomorrow, but in a couple of days, that will just be a pullback in this overall structure, okay? But what about at intraday level? Are there some, again, those short opportunities we taken until that cool off on the structure? So the thing is that it's still very strong. It's just a pullback. There's nothing more than that, guys. It's still very strong. Um, tomorrow, watch 20 hours moving average. The thing is that it's so strong that at this point, any pullback, even intraday pullbacks, you can just create the rebound back. It's so, when things are so strong, don't even try to short intraday, in my opinion. You can do whatever you want, but what I would do is, let just that pullback happen, wait for the pullback to finish, see where the double bottoms are forming, higher lows are forming in the pivot, and just play the upside. You can also use the range so for example, average range is what, 15.94 and today's range is 15.93 on Netflix. This is a very great way to trade even like intraday short. Range completed, you take the you know reverse side if you like, right, up to you, but have a stop loss on the other side. But this is what you can use to make decisions, how much of rebound or pullback is supposed to happen and accordingly make the decisions, right, um, for the range-based decisions as well where you want to flip the position is the move has completed in one direction and all forth. But yeah, Netflix is uh, still very strong, guys. Uh, very strong. Google. All right, so Google, no surprise. I called out this potential area of formation of pivot. And then I said that we will, this time may become bullish as pretty much this is the zone, the next blue box with this pivot, we'll likely take it out. We took it out and you can see Google has been going up. So what did I talk about Google? This was the rebound we were getting. I talked about this is the previous pivots and resistance. This blue box may reject. But if we form a pivot at this down blue box at 159, we might form a higher pivot here and things may start to go up. And that's pretty much what we got here, right? Things started to form a higher pivot, higher low. And then we took out that previous pivot and just been continuing higher. So yes, it's in the bullish trend and my new tool that shows the structure you can see it also changed the structure here bullish right so anyways now that's google it's strong yes we are seeing some sell-off come in just below the previous uh, sorry the next significant level but is this a strong sell-off let's take a look at hourly interval so if tomorrow we stay below 167 and 39 cents you can expect maybe some cool off 166 and maybe 50 hours moving average but then those areas also become your areas of completion of the pullback and rebound as well okay and then if it just stay above 20 hours moving average get above it just an upside all right that's that google have a stop loss on the other side regardless but this these are the areas where you will have your plays all right amazon amazon continues to remain strong um this blue box it tried to slow down it's a little bit over here but then thereafter it has been just going strong and strong and strong. Let's see what my indicator shows here, my tool. And yep, on Amazon, uh, we got the bullish structure right from here. And yeah, we have been going up and up and up and up. So yeah, and we are still in the bullish structure on Amazon. So um, yeah, and so if we, Again, as I said, even if we would have lost the bottom of the blue box, there is just 20 and 200 days moving average. That was a potential area of a pivot, but we are just above that as well. Just, you know, from here only, we are just continuing higher. This is the zone you are watching with the pivots. Most likely looks like it will take it out. So 180, once we get above it, yep, 50 days moving average and then 189 or $190 is the next target on Amazon. All right, SPY and KikiQ. So let's take a look at with my tool on SPY. So still looking great. Today is very tiny mini pullback. We changed the structure overall bullish right up from here, right? And we have been going up and up and up. Today's candle is just a pullback. It's not a structure change. And um, 
spy guys this is just a very tiny mini red candle it's not a bearish signal let's say tomorrow if spy loses this triple stacked support 555 area if spy loses this and for some reason it starts to come down to 548 that in the overall structure is just a pullback all right nothing more than that spy is still very bullish right now okay now let's go to the hourly interval let's see if that potentially can happen or are we still strong enough so for tomorrow i would say you know even if pullback comes let's say i think 50 hours moving average might give it a support tomorrow but and if we close weak tomorrow around 50 hours moving average and then we lose that with one of these areas of support then only i expect a cool off but otherwise and uh, no, tomorrow if the cool off starts to happen, I think it rebound. I think the sell off will might be bought back up in my opinion because it's it's still looking very strong. And anything above this area of twenty hours moving average of five hundred and fifty nine and fifty two cents is just a bullish play, right? So that's that. And let's take a look at QQQ now. So QQQ, let's put plug on my tool as well here. Again, you can use this tool across any interval. Right, not just on daily i'm just showing you daily for a very high level so right now uh, the body is not there but it's just a pullback guys the recent body is not there because the open and close price is very is very same right now um and but yeah structure is still bullish that's just a very tiny mini pullback now um we anything on qq until 474 even a little bit below that is just a bullish like here you can go through this massive pullback and still structure overall may remain just bullish on this thing but let's take a look at hourly interval uh, intraday what are the possibilities to look for so intraday let me actually check something here real quick and let me actually do high here for the intraday depth level and yeah here we go so tomorrow uh, if we stay above this level of 470 and 54 cents it's fine fair game again it's just a support zone with 50 hours moving average if we lose this level 470 with 50 hours moving average sure some cool off may come but again we have a lot of support sitting down there i you know i would you know just wait for the sell off to complete cool off in the day and then watch these levels and play the rebound because the structure is bullish right if structure is downtrend then we do the other side right and if we just continue up from here, 20 hours moving average and above, it's just continuation to the upside. Things are still strong, guys, in the market, all right? Just keep that in mind, okay? Okay, that's it for this video. And if you found it helpful, valuable, please hit the like, subscribe. And guys, if you need access to my tools, links are in the description below. Don't forget to check out my dividend investing channel as well. Link is in the description below. And with that, I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Take care. Bye.